Taipei Music Centre, billed as the capital's premier performing arts and cultural venue, is touching up the last details before it opens to the public next month. At a press briefing on Monday, the head of the centre revealed the mystery headliner of the centre's inaugural concert on September 5th. The headliner of Taipei Music Center's opening concert is revealed. It's Oyin, the indie outfit formerly known as Soda Green. Kei Huang, the chair of the Taipei Music Center, posed for photos next to Taipei Deputy Mayor Tsai. The center is gearing up for an opening concert on September 5th. The lineup will feature big names such as Golden Melody Award winner Lala Xu and singer-songwriter Hua Wei. Together with Oyin, it's an event not to miss. I'm extremely happy. Huawei will be here, and Lala, and as we just announced, Oyin. I think it's all about overcoming whatever difficulties there are and getting together as a community. So I'm very happy. Pop music has always been subject to rapid changes, such as the industrial center, the cultural center, and the performance venue need to embrace the new generation of music technology to transcend space and time. We are certain that Taipei Music Center will turn Nangang District into the premier music hub for Taipei or even for Asia. Here, we aren't just providing a performance venue. We hope to also promote the development of the music industry and cultivate talent in the sector. It's a place that integrates all three things. The performance hall at Taipei Music Center can seat about 6,000 people. Although it's not a large venue, some say it could still draw enough people to cause congestion on weekends. On Monday, the head of the music center vowed that there would not be any traffic issues. Meanwhile, Taipei's deputy mayor said that flaws in the building's construction would be addressed before opening day. We are getting everything sorted before the opening. All the hardware will be repaired and prepared in time. There won't be any problems on this front. Taipei Music Center is looking to become a landmark institution for Mandopop in Asia. The facility is due to pass stress tests and safety assessments before it opens to the public.